I don't want to be late. If I'm late, I'm going to miss Steve. And if I miss Steve, I'm going to miss the movie for the week. And if I miss the movie for the week, I'm going to miss Steve. And if I miss Steve, I'm going to miss... Well, you get the idea. Come on, let's go see Steve. We don't want to miss the movie. Hello, John. I thought you'd never get here. Come on. Tired old queen of the movies. Oh, Johnny, I wanted to do a really great romance. So, I chose one from 1942, Mervyn Leroy's adaptation of James Hilton's Random Harvest with Greer Garson, Ronald Coleman, Susan Peters, and Henry Travers. Now, James Hilton was one of those writers who sort of wrote fantasies, wonderful fantasies, one of which we've already done, which was Lost Horizon, which also starred Ronald Coleman. He did Goodbye, Mr. Chips. He did So Well Remembered. His stories were just absolutely romantic and sort of fantasy-based and just lovely, lovely stories. This is a story where a man in World War I has been wounded, and he's in a hospital in England. And he has amnesia. He has no idea where he was before. And he escapes from the hospital. He goes into uh, London and he's wandering the streets. He has no idea what his name is. He meets up with this wonderful girl. And it's Greer Garson. Now, she is a performer and she takes him to the theater and she places him backstage and she starts calling him Smithy. That's, that's not my real name. What's yours? Paula. Paula Ridgway. That's not my real name either. Look here, Smithy. Mm -hmm. You don't mind if I call you Smithy, do you? Greer Garson then goes out and does this sort of music hall number. Now, Greer was sort of known in MGM as the great lady. The, you know, she called herself MGM's glorified mama because of Mrs. Miniver, which was made the same year. But she goes out, she wears a little kilt, she shows her legs, and she sings this, you know, this English music hall number. And it's adorable. She should have done so many more musicals. She really was great. She She comes back, and this poor man has collapsed in her dressing room, and she realizes that he really needs help, and he's so dear that she takes him off to the country, and she takes care of him, and he falls in love with her, and they get married. He still has no idea who he is, but she's never been happier. What's wrong? What's wrong? Smithy, do I always have to take the initiative? You're supposed to kiss me, darling. Oh, my... Oh. They have this beautiful cottage, and he goes off to London. He wants to uh, to get himself some work, and he is hit by a car. Look out! And when he comes to, all of his memory has come back from before he met her, but he has no memory of her at all. So he goes back to his family. He's been missing for years. They thought he was dead. And he takes up where he left off. He gets engaged to this young girl, Susan Peters, who has been a family friend for years, and they're going to be married. You start to watch this whole thing happen, and you don't know where Greer is. And he's got his office. He's set up in the family business. And he buzzes his secretary. Yes? Serenia, may I bring in? Oh, yes, Miss Hanson. I'm sorry. Bring it in, please. And the door opens, and in walks Greer Carson. And she has recognized him, and she applied for a job as his secretary because she wants him to, to remember her, but she doesn't want to force him because she's afraid it might injure him, and she loves him, and she's hoping against hope that the memory of her and how happy they were will come back to him. And basically, that's the premise. And it's the whole suspense of, will he remember her? Will he remember her? You're staring at me, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it struck me. Your hair is bright red in the sunshine. This is one of those movies that you curl up on a winter afternoon with the one you love and a box of Kleenex and have a good little cry and warm your heart in front of the fire to Greer Garson and Ronald Coleman 
in Mervyn Leroy's adaptation of James Hilton's classic romance, Random Harvest. Oh, Smithy, do you remember Let's me? Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. I've got so much cake Let's in my teeth. Let's go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.